Well, welcome here to Nethermore Park. And uh, Geisy and Gateshead just making their way onto the field now. Let's just go through those two team lineups. First of all, for Geisy, ringing in the changes after the 4 0 defeat to Aldershot. In goal, Dan Atkinson, Ryan Tulson, Danny Lowe, Adam Lockwood, the captain today, Jake Lawler, Wayne Brooksby, Tom Craddock, Will Hatfield, Nicky Boschel, Zach Thompson, and Rob Atkinson. It means that Stephen Drench drops to the bench. Ben Parker returns to the bench uh, from injury. Danny Boschel, Adam Boys, and Liam Dickinson. Uh, for Gates, said Sam Russell in goal, Craig Baxter, Jamie Chandler, James Curtis, Ben Clark, the captain, Josh Gillies, uh, Jordan Cranston, Ryan Bowman, Danny Johnson, Simon Ramsden and Paddy McLaughlin, and then on the bench, Matty Patterson, Rob Ramshaw, John Short, Jimmy Phillips, and Paul Woolston. Good conditions for football this afternoon. And Gateshead will get us underway. Referee Stephen Ross blows the whistle, and off we go. The ball played out to the left-hand side. And now, Danny, uh, Nicky Boschel on the ball for Geisy. Boschel curls the ball in from the left-hand side. It's blocked and hoofed away uh, by Josh Gillies. Picked up now by Jake Lawler. Headed on, still up in the air. Wayne Brooksby goes for the aerial challenge. Can't win it. Craddock does. Gets it into the box. Zach Thompson, great shot. Superb effort there from Thompson. Brilliant save from Sam Russell, corner to Geisley. Yes, yeah, stunning effort. I think it was uh, it was Will Hatfield that made the lung busting run forward, got himself into that position, struck it well, right foot on the half volley. Foster, a good save from Sam Russell. Atkinson plays the ball forward, a good long kick on him, plays it right through. Nicky Bosch with a chance to score. Oh, he just couldn't get the ball down. He claims he was pulled down by Curtis. Nothing given, but uh, Atkinson's clearance again, almost picking out Nicky Boschel. Nicky Boschel had just broken past the Gateshead back line, went to shoot, but didn't, couldn't connect with it properly, went down, claimed the penalty. It was rather a, 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 a tame claim, I would say, and it's gone behind for a goal kick. Tulson up towards Hatfield. Hatfield and Tulson combine. Find uh, Nicky Boschel, who's trying to turn on the ball on the edge of the 18 yard box. Just uh, a little Turkish slipper in towards Will Hatfield in the penalty area. He goes down as if he's been pushed in the back. Referee waves away the peels. Square now to Jake Lawler. Jake Lawler plays it towards the edge of the 18-yard box and Craddock goes down. He's pushed in the back. Guys hit a free kick. Very central, but just a few yards up from the edge of the D. It's good play from Tom Craddock because leading the line on his own, he's going to have to be prepared to, to take the challenges from the two centre-halves and look to try and win free kicks in in good positions like this one. Atkinson helps the ball up towards the head of Craddock. Craddock flicks it on up against Clark. It's a good header. Guys, he now in the ball on the right-hand side here. Thompson into the area. Oh, plays it in towards the feet of Craddock. He takes a, a drive towards goal, a deflection, takes it over the bar, and guys, they have a corner. Bro Brooksby, cleared by Tilson to the halfway line. Good flick on by Craddock. Finds Hatfield who keeps coming. He stumbles at the crucial time. And uh, guys, he now have to defend, and Johnson's just got himself clean through and goal from a flick on. Johnson for Gateshead, the, he'd take the lead. And it came, a cruel counter-attack. And a flick on found Johnson in acres of space, suddenly on the edge of the 18-yard box. He drilled the ball past Dan Atkinson and completely against the run of play, completely against the run of play. Guys, they find themselves a goal down. I presume that's you telling me it's two minutes anyway, Chris. <laughs> uh, it is, don't worry. <laughs> Free kick's being taken by Sam Russell. It's long into the guys' the half. Helped away again by Zach Thompson. Referee says that's enough. Just as the ball bounces onto the tin roof above our heads. And the at the break, it's not good news again for Geisy, but despite dominating the early stages of this game, despite having plenty of the ball in the final gate said third having 10 corners in that first half the lions find themselves almost inexplicably a goal down after a flick on found danny johnson who was put clean through on goal he drilled uh, dan atkinson the guys who keep making his debut today and at half time it is guys in nil gates had corners one. nothing made of them so one nil to gates said as we about to get started in the second half Referee just uh, signals that he is happy to start. The Lions looking incredibly attacking uh, minded start to this game uh, with uh, two right on the right hand side there. Get this Back one and Boschel. Boschel curls one in, headed away well by Curtis. And uh, Gateshead again soak up the pressure. 
and look to counter-attack here with Gillies. Gillies plays the ball on the right-hand side towards a goal scorer, Johnson. Johnson's up against Lockwood. Johnson's on the right-hand side, cuts in field now. Back here to uh, Chandler. Chandler towards the edge of the area where it's uh, picked up again by Gillies. He threads it into Johnson, 2-0 to Gateshead. An incisive attack almost straight away in the second half and the Lions find themselves two goals, nil, two, two goals to nil down. And they're really being punished now for not capitalising in that first half. Yeah, very much so. Everybody stood still, really. That was one of those times where Gateshead got the ball down and passed it well. And we haven't seen a great deal of that in this game, but they've just made that work to full effect. And Geisley trail by two. Craddock now on the left-hand side, up towards Hatfield. Back to Ben Parker, B Parker Square, into the feet of Thompson. Thompson out to the right-hand side to Tulson. Guys, he needs to deliver a ball. Tulson does, in towards the edge of the six-yard box. It's a tackle, it goes for the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper punches, punches as well, uh, Zach Thompson, in uh, trying to make the clearance. No foul, of course, but uh, he didn't make a clean connection on it, and the ball eventually is helped away from Rob Atkinson, superb sliding challenge. Nicky Boschel now has the ball on the left-hand side, plays it into Craddock, Craddock threads it through to Hatfield, Hatfield spins, takes a shot, deflection, Hatfield with a second shot, great save again from Sam Russell. Superb reaction stop from the Gateshead stopper. Puts the ball over the crossbar, another guy's a corner. Goes back into the Lions half, gives the ball to Danny Lowe, Danny Lowe delivers the long one forward, looking for Dickinson up against Clark. Clark wins the header, Zach Thompson wins the seconds, gives it to Boys. Boys plays it out to the left-hand side. More promising here from Geise. Brooksby crosses into the area. Boys with the header, but he couldn't connect. He had the chance, but he, he merely glanced at it, and it's gone behind for a goal kick. Square here as uh, they press forward again. Gillies on the edge of the 18-yard box, up against Jake Lawler, up against Tulson. Gives it back, and the final whistle goes. And another afternoon of deep disappointment for Geisley. Dominated the first period, found themselves a goal behind, completely against the run of play when Danny Johnson was put through on goal. He fired the ball past Dan Atkinson, making his debut in the Lions goal this afternoon. And then we got out of the traps badly in the second half. Danny Johnson put through for his second after 46 minutes. Uh, Geisley couldn't muster a response. It's finished here. Geisley nil. Gateshead two.